Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do a weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you God for blessing the Sagittarius Collective with a clear, concise message. So off camera when I was shuffling for you, what I got is illumination, positivity, prayers, and universal love. I also got the end, completion, rejection, despondency, masquerading like something isn't or is, not showing what you feel. So let's see what this is all about. I've, I've been forgetting to read what I've been when I wrote. So, so let's see. Sagittarius. What's going on for sad thoughts? Okay, so um, some some woman is heavily on uh, some man's mind here. You could be the Sagittarius man. You could be the Sagittarius woman. Um, you're in somebody's mind space. They're just wondering, if, you know, they're having thoughts about you, about the connection, about the relationship. As I say, that courtship comes out. They're, they're having um, thoughts about maybe who you're dating, who you're with, what you're doing. Um, yeah, what have, do you have roots somewhere else? Are you rooted and grounded in another relationship? Is there a firm foundation somewhere else? Yeah, someone wants to know, um, have you gone on? Have you moved on? Have you journeyed on here? Is it com completely over? The 10 is about completion, and that's what we got in the uh, the pre-shuffle when I was shuffling off camera anyway. So someone wants to know, is it over? Or, is, or can you guys find a way back to one another? Can you journey back to one another? Um, someone also could drive and do import export for work or drive trucks or someone's always on a plane or on a train or something. Um, let's see. Despair. Yeah, someone is um, really concerned about something being over. It could be you, Sag. It could be the other person. Someone is in a place of not knowing if this is really over. They're in a place of uh, depletion in terms of their emotional state. Uh, they're really upset. They don't know if they can, if this can come back together. The relationship could be recoverable, but it's going to take a lot of work. Someone's got to build a bridge to the other person. Someone's very sad about the other person, about this connection. Some unexpected money could come to you. A lot of times when we're talking about love and this card comes up, it talks about an unexpected message. So do expect, um, well, don't expect, but there will be an unexpected message that comes into you. And it could um, it could talk about maybe, um, maybe someone gifting you something. Maybe somebody will gift you something or you want to gift someone something. You don't know how to bring something back. You don't know how to ground the energy. You don't know how to actually... Um, make a declaration of your intention here um, or, or you want to sweep someone off their feet and, and make sure that you declare something to them the main male here showing up um, it could be same sex here for some of you if not then it's just an energy of um, this is the main male this is the man that you're, you're coming to the reading about um, sad woman if you're not same sex um, you wonder if this person has other people that they're sleeping with or that they're with um, Sagittarius okay you wonder if that the relationship that you and this person has is it only just sex or is this person just keeping up sex only relationships with everybody is this person not giving themselves fully to no, to no one um, one more card here let's see yeah poverty you just wonder if um it's just a relationship where there's nothing completion the end despondency like somebody has completely checked out like feelings and emotions we've got none of those cards here it's just a lot of calculation um despair sex maybe somebody feels like they're, they're trying to get over somebody by just getting out there in the world and mixing it up with everybody even you know uh, participating in maybe some promiscuity here uh, maybe a Sagittarius man here. What do they say? To get over one, get under another, right? 
Um, maybe because this person is piss poor morally. They don't know how to bring something back. Um, they feel like something was taken from them with a despair card. Um, like somebody has journeyed on. Someone is in a new relationship here. Um, and that's where their thoughts really are. It could be about you, Sag, or this could be how someone you're dealing with. Is this how they feel about maybe another person? Let's see. Um, yeah, someone is masquerading like, you know, it's not a sex-only connection when it really is. Someone is masquerading like they're not hurt when they really are. Um, let's see. What's going on for my Sagittarius? What's going on for Sagittarius here? Okay, uh, we've got the, you could be dealing with the Piscean person. Somebody's also a little upset the, at the fact that the relationship is not growing. They're listening to friends and or family or someone knows that there's another person involved in the connection here. Somebody just feels like they just can't make this connection what they want it to be. They feel like as if somebody is just not committed. Uh, they don't know if they should fight for the relationship anymore. And um, there's lack of commitment, lack of wanting to actually see this through um carry this out with the nine of wands um maybe someone someone could also have checked out of the connection here someone's trying to see something from a different perspective or just give it some time give it a rest trying to be hands off here um let's see the queen of pentacles yeah um there could be another woman here somebody is really just you know stepping back and really understanding their worth and what they bring to every connection that they're in the king of wands um it could be a girlfriend or somebody that somebody has obligation to maybe even a wife here um but there's also somebody else here that somebody may have taken a break from but it doesn't look like it's going to be a forever break yeah four of pentacles they're holding on to this person they're holding on to the idea of having this relationship of this coming back around this third party situation the sex the possessiveness the toxicity the darkness the the jealousy, um, the bond, the tie. Somebody's holding on to that. The two of cups here. Somebody feels like there's a real strong connection with somebody that they can't let go, even if it's toxic, even if it's stuck and stagnant. This could be you, Sag. It could be the other person. Someone just doesn't want to let this person go for whatever reason. The three of wands here. It's like somebody's trying to manifest this person back in their energy. It could be you. It could be the other way around. Someone's trying to bring you back into the fold here. Wow, the knight of wands. But they don't have much to offer but sex, fun, passion, opportunity. And then they're out like a light. You know, it's not going to stick around. Okay. Or they're not going to stick around. This is, this is who they are. This is the fullness of who they are this is what they have to offer you okay so if it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below you can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so thank you Sag. many blessings to you